In today's video, we'll be visiting Brookhaven inside of Minecraft. And we'll compare a bunch of stuff to see if the one in Roblox is cooler than the one in Minecraft. This is Brookhaven Spawn, where you'll find the fountain, picnic benches, and even a swing set for you to play in. Can't forget our pool, which is always fun. There's even another copy of this place made in Fortnite. Here's the spawn at Fortnite. As you imagine, this is the fountain. The benches are here and even the swing sets are still in their rightful place. They even made the public pool as close to the original as possible. I've even made a prior video talking about the one in Fortnite, so just click on the card up to see that. You may not believe it, but it's not only Fortnite that has a copy of this map, but we got one inside of Minecraft. Here it is, Brookhaven RP Minecraft. If you look at the screenshots, you can see just how the town looks. They did a great job. I didn't even know it was possible to do something like that in Minecraft, so why don't we go ahead and compare both versions? Look at all this. It's just like the one in Roblox. And this is my Minecraft skin. What do you guys think? Is it better than my Roblox avatar? So let's start. We can begin by comparing the spawn here in Minecraft. Looks like they have the glass just like the original. Here's the fountain that's a pretty simple design, but pretty good. The swimming sensation is not like Roblox though. It's kind of weird. That's not all, because they have added the trees as well as the swing set. Ain't that fun? Wait, I'm having a hard time getting up there. I'm too short for that. I found my way up, but this is kind of boring. It doesn't really really move. Another problem as well, the picnic benches are fully missing. I'm not sure why they weren't even added, but comparing them side by side, they're pretty similar. It's pretty well done. The biggest difference is that everything's a square, so you can't have the same feel as Roblox. We also have the public pool made in Minecraft. Here's the diving board that sadly doesn't launch us up. This was supposed to be the slide, but it doesn't look like one at all. We can try to slide down this, but it isn't fun at all to use. There's also some other stuff missing. Like a bus stop right here. I'm not even kidding. You can find it right here. Beyond that, they don't even have some towels for you to sit around the pool. Leave me and I'll make the bus stop that's missing right here. I just got a couple of blocks and I'll build it as well as I can. After a little while, I made it. And I actually think it looks pretty good. If you compare it to the one in Brookhaven, they kind of look similar. Let me be honest with you guys. I'm not that good of a builder. To finish it off, I'll make some of those towels like the original. And now we have a nice public pool. In the Roblox one, we also have the downtown metro station. We just go down these stairs, and you'll have full access to it. It even works. If we go into it, we can travel around the city. Can't forget about the secret passage around here that takes us below the spawn area. And it looks like in the Minecraft one, we do have the metro station right here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, what's going on here? What happened to the whole station? Did they just not do it? Guess this Minecraft map doesn't really have that. The next thing we're gonna see is the police station. We we can already see that the symbols are fully missing. Yeah. As we go inside, there should be some computers on the counter. Let's not judge. What else do we have here? Oh, that's not a lot. This office is a lot simpler than the one in Roblox. I think this should be the interrogation room, but it's too small for that. Here are the cells, which are also a lot smaller. And right up here must be the ventilation system they have in the game. Let me get some ladders for us to take a look at. I guess they only made the corridor that takes you from there to the outside. But if you look side by side, they do look a lot like each other. Something I didn't realize before is that we don't have a helicopter. Sadly, it's alright. We still have a whole hospital to look at inside of Roblox. Wait, no! It's Minecraft! Don't worry about that. Alright, so here's where they get the meds. This is one of the waiting rooms. Now, what have they done about the patient's rooms? There's not even a bed. They didn't get anything in here. And that's in all of the three rooms. There's gotta be something in the surgery room. Well, at least they have the operating table. I guess this is where the baby room should be. But it's blocked? Why would they do that? Wait! Where are they? This is where the x-ray room would be. But seems like there's nothing added in here. From this side is where we normally could go up to the second floor. And then get into the broken glass on the windows. Which is where we find the hidden agency floor with that paper that burns and everything. But sadly that also wasn't built in here. Now if we compare the hospital in Roblox with the one in Minecraft. I prefer the original. There's lots more stuff to do in here. We don't even have the x-ray room in that one. So we can't even go to this secret room that we all know about. The baby room is also missing. How would we adopt a child? Anyway, here's town hall. And if we make our way into it. Wait, what happened to this place? Did they not build anything inside here? There's literally nothing. Let's look at something else. What do we have at the fire station? Here's the room they keep it until something happens. I guess they did make the bunk bed. They did place it on the wrong side though. It should be over here. A computer should be over here and a TV over there. 
here. But I guess they simplified a lot in this map. As we get into the one in Roblox, you will see. The bump bed is actually on this side, while in Minecraft, they put beside these windows. Maybe the builder has to play a bit more Brookhaven next time. As I was saying, there's a computer. There's the TV. There's lots of stuff missing from here. We visited quite a couple of places, but we still didn't go to the grocery store. Inside this place, we should be able to buy carrots, apples, or even some beverages like milk or water. But apparently, the freezers are just solid blocks. And the shelves are mostly empty. Let's try to fix a bit of this place. I'll throw some apples into this shelf in case anyone wants these. Some carrots over on this side. There's still some stuff missing, like a freezer right here on the floor. You know the one. You'd always find pizza boxes in it. So let's make that one. Instead of pizza, I'll get some cakes there. I tried to make a few changes, but it doesn't look as good as I wanted. Back into Roblox, we can just grab some Doritos, even some pizza slices, and tons more stuff, as well as some working freezers. Look at these doors. The cashier station also looks a lot better compared to the Minecraft one. Right in front of me, I have Brookhaven's mall inside of Minecraft. Here's the front door, and here is normally where the cinema would be. Where is it thought? Oh, I guess they didn't build it? Looks like we lost it with this one, too. They did put some paintings because of the movies, though. That's cute, but that's all we have on this floor. The rest seems just empty. Upstairs, there should be lots more stores, but we don't have anything here, either. There's no other like the Roblox one. There's just so much stuff put into this place. It's hard to remake something so packed full of stuff like this. You'll probably not even come close. The cinema literally teleports you to a whole different room. But we can just chill and watch some movies. So that's pretty nice. There's still another famous building here. Which is Brooks Diner. It's just a nice little restaurant to get some nice grub and chill out. There should be some tables around here. But they didn't really do that. There's just some slabs. We gotta at least have a little bathroom, right? No, it doesn't exist. What about the motel? We do have the sign right here, but they couldn't write anything there. And if we have a look at the rooms, they don't even have doors or windows because it's just hollow inside of it. What have they done with the motel in Minecraft? Airport, please tell me you work. We do have the metal detectors, but they probably don't work. To test that, we'll put full iron armor. I'll even hold an iron sword just in case. All right, let's see if it does anything. Wait, what was that sound? I actually heard a sound. Like some kind of siren or something. Can we get into the place? Dude! I just want to go into the air. Since we're a bit far from there, let me just bury all my iron armor over here. Then they'll never know I was the one there. Awesome. I'm probably scot-free now. Look at that. This is the Rotten Robbie's gas station. Of course, it's mostly decorative, but they even got the car wash in. That's pretty cool. I don't care about that, though. What have they done with the houses? Whoa! What house even is this? This one actually feels like one from the actual game. So they did a good job with that. The only bad part of it is that it's just an empty building. No furniture. No nothing. How would we sleep? Yeah. Comparing it side by side with the original one, they did a pretty good job. The furniture is the only problem. Oh, and right here is the church. Everyone knows about this one. Inside it does resemble the Roblox one. We also have a chest with a bunch of maps. Is it a treasure map? What is it for? Oh, they even put the house plot sign on the lots. Here's the well-known Brookhaven Arch. I didn't really like how I came out. But that's okay. We do have the countryside. Like the barn that's right here. It actually looks pretty nice. Sadly, there's no ladder for us to get up there. We normally are able to go over here. But it still looks just pretty good. Here's the stable with water for the horses. And even that little animal pen that no one really uses. To finish it off, we can have a look at Lake Madison. Looks like they gave it the whole beach vibe it has. They even made the whole yacht. It's a pretty simple design. But it resembles the original pretty well. Over here, we have the little camp cabin. They did put the rooms right. But it's still pretty empty. For some reason, it's also really far from the lake. They're normally closer to each other. Now over on this side, we can actually find Mr. Brookhaven's house, the abandoned one. It still looks like an abandoned home. Here's where the appliances would be, like the fridge that became a block. It does look pretty good though. I know it's not possible to make it just like Brookhaven inside of Minecraft, but what did you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're not blocky like this one. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Brookhaven comparisons. Have a good one!